I found an old dresser recently on the side of the road. It looked like it was worth saving, so I took it home. It looks to be older than most of the furniture that I usually work on, so this was a nice change of pace for me. It's made of solid walnut, which is unusual. Usually if I find a walnut piece of furniture, it's walnut veneer and not solid walnut. The condition isn't too bad. The worst damage is here on the top. What's left of the finish here is in pretty bad shape. So I'll be refinishing the top. It looks like somebody put a plug in the top. I'm not sure if it was built like that or if that happened after it was built. There's also some finish damage on the bottom, so I'll also be addressing that. There are some pretty deep scratches on this leg and also on the corner of the bottom drawer. It also looks to be handmade. Here you can see the hand cut dovetails on the drawers. Even this back panel here is solid walnut. The panel that was underneath it is missing. And then the panel below that is not walnut. I'm not sure what that is. I love these bulbous drawer pulls that it has. The first thing I wanted to do was to fix the finish on the top. Luckily, I was able to remove the top since it was only held on by some screws. There was no glue holding it on. The screws were only at the front and back, and there were some screw holes on the sides, but they were empty. There were no screws left in them. And while we're looking at the underside of the top, Here's another shot of that plug. It looks like it was right in the middle of a knot. So maybe that knot fell out and that's why they needed to plug it. I was also able to remove this back panel. Once I got all of the visible screws out, the top still wouldn't come off, so I looked for some hidden screws or nails, and I found this screw in the top. It looked like the top of it had been covered with some kind of a filler. Once I got that screw out, then I tried getting the top off again, but it still wouldn't come off. And that's when I found a nail that was in the front. So I just left the nail in there and gently pried the top off. I also removed these little boxes on the top. They were also just held in place with a screw. 
So this would make it even easier to refinish the top. With the top removed, then I could work on removing the finish. And I suspected that the finish was shellac. So I tested it just by dropping a little bit of denatured alcohol on the finish. Denatured alcohol will dissolve shellac. So if it dissolves the finish, then that tells me it's shellac. And sure enough, after just a minute or so, it had dissolved the finish. So I decided instead of scraping the finish off or sanding the finish off, I would just use the denatured alcohol to remove it. In some spots, I just poured the alcohol on and scrubbed the finish off. And in other areas, I put some paper towels down and soaked them with alcohol and let it sit for a while. And then wiped it off. There was also some kind of uh, schmutz under where the drawers would sit that wasn't coming off easily with alcohol, so I just scraped that off. Not sure what it was. Could have been spots where the shellac just collected and got really thick when they first put the finish on. After all the finish was removed, then I had to address all of these stains and spots and marks that were in the top. The worst of it being this spot right here. There's also a large spot on the other side, and in between the two were just a whole lot of small, dark spots. The first thing I tried to get rid of these spots and stains was some oxalic acid which usually works great for removing stains that were caused by water. Before I applied the oxalic acid, I just gave it a light sanding with some 180 grit sandpaper. I'm not sure if this helps the oxalic acid to be absorbed or not, but it seemed like a good idea and it can't hurt. And then I applied the oxalic acid to the whole top and let it sit until it dried. I left it overnight and came back the next day and wiped it down with some mineral spirits. And I could see that that large stain was still there. It didn't look like it had been affected much at all by the oxalic acid. And the one on the other side was also still visible, maybe a little bit smaller, but there was still something there. Although a lot of the small spots in the middle disappeared which was good. So these stains that remained were probably not made by water sitting on the wood. I'm not sure what made them. So then I tried some sanding, see if that would remove the stains at all. I didn't want to get too aggressive with the sanding. So I just started with some 150 grit. After sanding it for a while, I could see that it actually was working. Here's the spot where that really large stain was. There was still some staining there, and I decided to leave it. The condition of this top I describe as rustic. It was never going to look brand new, and I didn't want it to look brand new. In addition to all these stains and things, it was also significantly warped. Here you can see when I put a straight edge on it all the space underneath the middle where the wood is cupped. And there's a crack here as well on the underside. 
So I decided with this top, it's okay to leave some rough spots. It is what it is. So I left a little bit of that stain there. And the same thing with the other stain that was on the other side. Most of that had gone, but there was a little bit left and I just left it. I did, however, want to fill this hole from the screw that was in the top. I decided I wasn't going to reuse that when I put the top back on. So I took a scrap piece of walnut and cut out a couple of plugs, two different sizes. The small one was too small, but the large one looked like it would work if I just tapered it a little bit. I just applied some glue in the hole. and put the plug in. And then I took some sanding dust from the top and tried to pack it in around the edge in case there was any gap there, just to fill in the gap. Once it was dry, I trimmed it down with a chisel and sanded it smooth. The plug is not invisible. It's obvious that a hole was plugged there. But again, I'm going with the rustic look on this top. There's already a big plug in the middle where it looked like they made no effort to try to hide it. So I didn't try too hard to hide this plug either. Next, it was time to put on the finish. And I'm using shellac for the final finish on this, just like it was originally. I'm using shellac from a can, but I am diluting it a bit with some denatured alcohol. So it's half shellac from the can and half denatured alcohol. And this just makes it easier to work with. Here's how it looks with that little drawer box put back on the top. I think the color is a pretty good match. The finish on the boxes that sit on top also needed some freshening up. It wasn't too bad, but there were some marks and rings and things on it. It wasn't bad enough that it needed to be stripped and completely refinished. So I decided just to apply a little bit of fresh shellac over the original finish. Before I applied the shellac, I gave it a light sanding with a fine sanding pad. I don't know what grit it is, but it felt like around 320 or 400. And then I just used a little piece of a cotton rag and wiped on the shellac. It's the same shellac that I used on the rest of the top. Once the shellac was dry, then I just buffed it out a little bit with some fine steel wool and some wax.
And here's the top, all finished. Stay tuned for another video where I work on the rest of the dresser. Thanks for watching.